这是在很长时间之前的事情。我我在这个夜梦中看到了一个境界，就是咱们这个标记的问题。我在一个站台上，在一个站台上，天上发现了无数的横竖的光格，就是像探照灯那个光格一样，满天照着，很亮。嗯、哎，完了，光格过去了以后。我就看见这个，你标记你 M M 那个，那个是那个母船，船拖着这个万类的花朵，师傅，您就躺卧在躺卧在那万类花朵，向天下看大地的众生，我就还得搁那喊着，我说师傅来啦，师傅来啦。刚开看的我一蹦起来了，一下我蹦醒了，我我都看不着了。<笑>你太激动了，才这样。他看到好的境界，然后太太激动，然后就醒过来了，是不是这样？啊，哎呀，以后不要那么激动，安静安静下来再继续看，啊，不要那么激动，要快醒过来，蹦起来。<笑> OK， 懂了懂了，恭喜嘛，没事，好好的。How to eat? <laughs> okay, you guys, you okay? Not tired? Oh man, how is your body made of bricks or something? How you do this, actually? Oh man, really? Because you sit all day already. At least you sit some time, right? In the daytime. And in such a condition, windy, cold, and it's not like at home you can lay down. There's no way you can lay down here unless you lay in, in the bosom of some of your brothers next door. There's no way you can lay down anywhere, right? Because we're even short of uh, indoor space even. And you sit so tight together. How can you even sit all day and... Uh, or evening already, and then she listened to this old woman <laughs> calendar stuff <laughs> and all the questions, and you still, f uh, you look like you're full of beans. <laughs> Did they feed you beans in the kitchen? <laughs> soya beans. Soya beans. Ah, yeah, yeah, she said soya beans. What I mean is you look so radiant. You're smiling from ear to ear, and you just don't, don't look tired at all. How? Love uh, cannot make you like this. It's your love, master. It's huh? your love. Really? It's your love. You worked very really hard for this place, and you just came to see me. And the, your brothers and sister in Taiwan, they work really hard. They work very hard, yeah? But you come here also very hard. Yeah. <laughs> and we thank the Taiwanese, yeah? Huh? And they work very hard, yeah, they work very hard for it, uh, even though not uh, as perfect. It's just sometimes the ego interfere, yeah, or the maya interfere. I have high standard, okay? <laughs> high, very high standard expectation of all of you, not just them. But I also appreciate that you come, and they're very happy that you come, because it's not easy or you, also for you to come. You come from different place, yeah? Because uh, I know you work very hard for your money. Yeah, very hard. And you're honest living. Not like quick rich making, that's easier. But you work hard, really, every day of your life to save some money to come, yeah? And at home you have obligation, you see? If you didn't come here, maybe you could buy a flash car, <laughs> a better car to flash with the neighbors, you know? <laughs> But you know what is more important? I wish I could pay all for your tickets and everything else. Yes. But it's good that you pay. It's good that you pay. Otherwise, everything is, I earn merit and you zero. And you can't come home with me. <laughs> I mean, the home that waiting for you, like Jesus say, I go prepare a place for you. Yeah. All the master, they prepare a place for their disciples. 
Yeah. If, if the real master, they have creative power. I mean, not just this lousy world like the Maya made was a high cut, zillion times or glorious and comfortable and you like nothing and you desire nothing, you just feel happy. And then from there, you can even bless the world. Yeah, because you're more powerful. Mm? Not just we enjoy, but we can bless the world. And we can come back here if we want, but full of equipment inside to protect yourself not to fall again and to help whoever you think you own a dead last life or who helped you sincerely. But when you were in this world or the last life, you had not enough power or equipment or opportunity or financial or power to help. Mm? You look and you say, ah, my good friend there, I want to come down and take him up. And you have all the power and the master support behind to take that friend up. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good thing about it. You don't have to like come down to be a master or anything, but you come down with power to help whoever you think it was good for you. You have enough power to do that. Yeah, you don't have to be well known or famous, or preacher, nothing. You just quietly go and help whom you wanted to help, and that's very beautiful. Yeah, without so much ado, like being a master and people who look at you, attack you, and you have to fear for your life. Without that, you just come down casually, you know, and just go in for a trip, <laughs> and then you take up whomever you like to. Okay, good, huh? Yes. Good deal. I just wanted to say it's awesome news that you gave us about going beyond the fifth world and just unbelievable. And thank you so much, Master. Oh, you're welcome. How do you say you're welcome in Afrikaans? Yes, welcome. Okay. <laughs> uh, Imagine we can understand each other, huh? There's so many languages here not to talk about in other countries, huh? Yeah, that's good. And we're happy with each other, yeah. <laughs> and it's been an awesome retreat, Master. Every night from the, the first time you spoke to us until even tonight, you've answered so many questions inside. Like every single question I had for the yeah. last two years inside, you've answered the first night you answered almost ninety percent of all of them. See? And See? then the second night you answered even beyond Beyond hundred percent. Oh wow. <laughs> That's a bonus, eh? Hey? Good yeah. for business. <laughs> And then, Master, just being in your presence, like, I mean, every time I see you, you just, you just become more and more and more and more powerful and loving and compassionate. Yeah? And, yeah. yeah. Powerful, man. Yeah. And, and, Master, what really, really, really touches my heart so deeply is that you're so tolerant with us and you're so forgiving and so you still give us so much invisible love on a, on a vibrational love yeah. that that words don't even do justice for us to be able to explain to you how grateful we are to you, Master, and mm. for everything you've done for us. It's okay, no problem. As long as you, <laughs> as long as you sincerely practice, do your best, okay? And I'll be happy, yeah. That's Thank why you, you always come, because you can't find any happiness no. with your boyfriend. Always come here. Yeah. Master, you are my one true love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but if another boyfriend would be better, right? Have master, but boyfriend would be better, right? <laughs> it's no good on that boyfriend business, no. okay? You stay alone and you will see how happy if you last longer. Yeah. Longer than two years, then you feel happier. If you are busy, yeah? doing something, at least for yourself, or something also meaningful, yeah? Then you will not uh, even think of... No. Even uh, the most handsome man coming in front of you, you don't even see it. Yeah. You don't feel anything. Even if you do, you would know I uh, just a fleeting kind of uh, chemical reaction. Yes. Or uh, mm, habits, you know? It's just 
But you must keep yourself in good company and work, okay? Yes, Master. Yeah, because if you stay alone, you feel lonely, and then you just want a company. Not really a boyfriend. I just want somebody to be around, talking to, or helping you do some nailing. I do all my nailing myself. Yeah, just now even. I have to fix my place. I have to hang curtain to keep it warmer, yeah? And nail something to secure my door, stuff like that, yeah. The door of the stage, the door of the floor, you know? Not my door. I don't have any door. It's just if you go to the roof, there are some doors, you know? <laughs> door from the second or other floor, I, I have to secure it. I did it all myself. Busy yourself. Make yourself just like handyman even, yeah? Yeah, busy yourself. Or read books, yeah? Read important spiritual books. Yes, Master. And uh, go outside, volunteer with some... But that's also dangerous because... Because... <laughs> <laughs> For, for other men, I mean, not for you, but <laughs> for the flitting kind of boyfriend. Energy spent on physical pleasure is very precious. It depletes you, truly. You must save it as much as you can so that you can go further, because you have only so much energy and fuel. If you dispense it all on the way, then of course you will delay your journey or uh, stay in one low level. Hmm? Yes, that's, Master. Yeah, that's why even St. Peter say best is to stay single. But really, if you cannot, then get married. Get married. Yeah. yeah. I don't mean you get married. I mean, St. Peter say that to, to other people, to his disciple followers. Yeah. Most uh, um, masters, they, they married before they became master, yeah? And after they even married, they understand that uh, physical contact, pleasure are not helpful to your spiritual elevation. Definitely not. It's not a joke. It's not that like uh, I'm wagging finger at you, like I'm better than you, nothing. This is just a fact like that. Okay? So cool down, chill out, meditate, do good. Do some volunteer job with our group. Yeah, do something good with your precious life, okay, and time. Thank you, Master. Just cut off this kind of boyfriend stuff in your mind. Just determine that you don't want it, then it will not happen. But if you're always are lingering and thinking, oh, what, who is the next, you know, and keep looking, of course you will find one. Yeah, and then you waste your time in tears, in quarrel, or in adjusting and in uh, dispensing energy. There's nothing really good about that, truly like that, okay? Not that I forbid you or anything, but anyone who really wants to go high, must downsize his uh, physical contact with the other sex. Understand that? Mm. Uh, the energy you spend in, in sexual uh, activities is really harmful to you. Not just the body, but spiritual, emotion, mental, psychological, psychic as well. Mm, psychic everything. You're just spending and spending and spending. F your energy is just wasting, flowing out, mm? instead of conserving. Yeah? I teach you to do Kuan Yin because you return it inward also, not just because hearing the higher dimension, the Word of God, but also return back to your energy, okay? Through so the guanning activity, yeah? That's why most people, when they meditate, they put their legs together and the palm together somewhere, okay? Yes. Even in a magic school, yeah? They also tell you that. That if you talk to somebody, you better cross your legs together. Maybe you cannot do the lotus, because it's too obvious when you do deal with a business, but at least you cross it together under there and then make sure your hand also not to out open 
Because in case that person has bad energy, it will just flow into you. And you are dispensing by uh, leaving yourself open and vulnerable. Right? Your legs open, your arms open, and then you talk as well, and your ear open to listen. Your eyes have to look at that person. The more close, the better. Hmm? Even in magic school, they teach you that. So this uh, physical contact with other gender, you know, opposite gender, is really an outflow of a lot of energy. You concentrate your all on that act, yeah? Or you will feel frustrated and not satisfied. And when you concentrate your all on that, then you are just here. You're just in that act, you're just in the physical dimension. At least for that moment or that time you spend with your physical partner, you leave heaven. You left your true self. You forget higher dimension. And we don't have a lot of time. We have too little time already for spending on work, on shopping, cooking, dressing, uh, driving, all kinds of things already. And we have only like one and a half hour, two hour to meditate already, if you have. Yeah, and then extra on that, you spend more energy. The physical pleasure costs a lot of energy, more than any other activities. Because you concentrate your all, you give your all in that moment. And it's a waste of a lot of precious energy. Hmm? Not to talk about there at that moment, you are just right there, you're nowhere else higher, okay? Just in a lower dimension, lower level lower chakra, huh? And you want to go high here, you don't go low down. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. All right, any other? Master, I was just wondering, what more can we do? We have um, a loving hut in Ohio, hmm? and it's crazy busy all the time. People love it. I'm just feeling like we could do more to share the teachings, though, because hmm. everyone's going vegan, hmm. and... and what more can we do to help? You put on TV, SMTV. If people ask you, you tell them. Okay. And you want to be a preacher? Go well, ahead. I don't know, like more flyers. We used to ah, do flyers. Yeah, do whatever you think. Okay? Do whatever what you think. We, we want to help Yeah, more. understand. Because your yeah. situation is different, you know? You do what you can. And you, you just use your IQ. Think tank, okay? Okay. Or get together and say, what else can we do? Huh? Uh, with your staff, with your uh, friends, so what else can we do? Then just do it. It depends also on your uh, finance, your capability, or where you live, whether or not it's easier to talk to people, or whatever you do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just organize a, a talk, but only on TV. Some people just put master video there, everybody watch, and then you explain this and that, and by the way, you talk to them. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can do, okay? Yes, thank you.